Welcome to Film Reel, everybody. I am your host, Chet Severn, sitting in for Matthew Wegg. And joining me, as always, is my good friend and good friend. Rogue Cisco! You got it. Hey Rogue Cisco has joined the party for the last time, maybe. Last time. I don't know. Maybe. Depends on what fate is in store for the show Who coming knows? in the next future, in the near future. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Woo! Let's go. go. So we're talking murder. Murder. Robots. <laughs> survival. Yes. And money. Yep. Money, money, money. Mm-hmm. Starting Good old off, J.K. Rowling. Money. Yeah. <laughs> so, starting off with that little brief description, we're going to talk about murder. Ooh. This morning, we got our first glimpse into Kenneth Bragna's trailer of the classic Agatha Christie novel, Murder on the Orient Express, starring himself as Hercule Poirot, and along with a very huge cast, and let me just iterate a few of the top ones. We have Johnny Depp, Michelle Pfeiffer, Daisy Ridley, um, Penelope, Dench, Cruz. Penelope Cruz, and Josh Gad. Those are my tops. There's and a lot of a lot of big names in this movie. Yeah, well, huge. Not big, big names, but yeah. big names. But huge. Big names. What do you think of the trailer, Cisco? Um... Personally, I I th- I feel like this movie is basically Clue on a train. Hmm. That that's what it is. Yeah, you have all the labels of all these people: the professor, the widow, the princess, um, the doctor, yeah. and all that stuff. And yeah, it looks like Clue on a train. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting analogy. Um, like I've seen the original Clue, and that's. Right. That's interesting. Well, I mean, it's like, <laughs> oh, well, this person obviously did the murder with this thing in this section of the train. <laughs> I can actually, um, without giving away the story, uh-huh. because I've actually read a bit of the book, and my my right. mother has actually read the whole thing as well as my sister. Right. They basically said that the ending is very twisty. Okay. That's expected, yeah. though. Mm-hmm. That's, that's expected with the murder mystery. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't. The murder, like, the result of the murder is very interesting. Right. The final outcome. But anyway, to the trailer instead of the book. I like the trailer. The uh, aesthetic is nice. Yeah, the, I really like the trailer. Yeah, I'm not the saying location it is bad. beautiful. So. The snow, the cat, the Alps, uh-huh. very well done. And the whole 1920s era right. of the Orient Express, well done. The only thing that turns me away a little bit is actually the um, music at the end. Oh, why? It kind of detracts because you... It's like me, I like to keep things period appropriate. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, I love Believer, the song itself, but this doesn't cut it. It it detracted the I mean, trailer to be, a little to bit be for me. Fair, in all fairness, the song at the end has a different... like tune and a different like melody to it mm-hmm. and it kind of sounds like um like in the jurassic world trailer uh-huh. you know the piano jurassic world yeah, how yeah. it's all slow and just yeah. piano-y and uh-huh it's just amazing that's what they did with that song at the end of that trailer yeah and it, i don't know for me it kind of fit i i really liked it just because it gave uh-huh. off that like yeah. you know this is obviously a murder you right know, this is gonna happen and you know you never know where this is gonna go so it just kind of trails off at the end uh-huh and just ends. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it fits. But. I guess. I'll just wait for another trailer just to see what they do with it. If they right. add really more out-of-place music, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be overly thrilled about it. Yeah. When I first uh, saw this title of this of this movie, mm-hmm. uh, the only thing I think of was the Doctor Who episode <laughs> um, when Peter Capaldi was, I think, when he barely turned to uh, the Doctor. When oh. He, when he first became the doctor, it was one of his first episodes uh-huh. with um, I forgot her name already. <laughs> oh, Jenna Coleman. Ah, yeah, yeah Jenna Coleman as uh, Clara. Yeah, but uh this I I think I'll go see this movie. Yeah, I'll definitely see it without doubt. Is I mean, it's in November, so mm-hmm. yeah. Star Wars is priority. Yeah, priority but, alpha. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> and I think another movie in November. Yeah, I don't remember which one. Oh, it might be a Marvel film, depending. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's Thor. Thor. Ragnarok. Yeah, Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. no. And Call of Duty. So that's gonna be taking Oops. all my money away. Um, Whoopsies. Yeah, 
<laughs> should have thought that a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, but if there's another thing I should uh, critique a little bit on is Poirot himself. Mm-hmm. Poirot is portrayed very in in a very interesting way, if right. I had to say so. How so? Um, well, in the books, he's a little he's physically different. Mm-hmm. He's kind of shorter, whereas Ragnar is a little bit tall on the taller, handsome side of things. Right, older, handsome, I should say, not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not that one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's an interesting twist, and plus his mustache. <laughs> That's that, glorious. That mustache. thing's huge. <laughs> like in the books, uh, he has like a little simple mustache, simple uh-huh. little French mustache with a little. Yeah, I feel like it, I feel like it's trying to like be the typical stereotype of mm-hmm. a Frenchman. Well, he's Belgian, actually. <sighs> he sounded French. I know, but he it depends French. on. I know it makes sense that some people would think that he's French, but be careful around Poirot friends and fans in Europe. Because they'll tell, they'll totally come after you. Really? Yeah, they'll come after you and say he's Belgian. Oh, he's Belgian. <laughs> well, uh, unless like, unless oh, they Lord. establish that in the movie. Yeah, he sounds French. I'm sure they will <laughs> at some point. Yes, he speaks fluent French, but he is actually from Belgium. But anyway, he's also another thing that about him that makes Poirot Poirot. Mm-hmm. He's very very prissy. He's very picky stuck up he has um, a little bit of an ego okay which the ego is not necessary is kind of there but i don't think it stands out that much yet but this is just the first trailer so that's fine Mm -hmm. i think we need to get people interested in plot rogan so they might as well keep that prissiness out for now yeah Ah. Mm -hmm. i don't know i haven't read the book so i don't really know like these characters and what to expect from it but yep it looks it looks all right. And this is one of the more questionable stories from Agatha Christie's Poirot stories out of all of them. Mm-hmm. It was like it's really good, but the ending is like, wait, why did he do that? <laughs> I, now that I realize, uh, Doctor Who has I've actually used a lot of Agatha Christie's novels, yeah. um, like all um, like a lot of their episodes reference those books and or are about those books. I think one even includes Agatha Christie. Yes, I remember that one. Yeah, the uh, the one with the giant uh, bee, yeah. the giant hornet or wasp or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, whatever that honey bug was. Yeah, during the tenant phase mm-hmm. with Donna Noble. And that was supposedly like, I remember that episode because it intrigued me because supposedly that took place like days before she realistically disappeared. Right. Yeah, that's, that's still a mystery to this day. Like what happened to Miss Christie? Yeah, at that yeah. time, it's uh, it's it's a mystery indeed. It's very ironic, though. Mm-hmm. Quite the irony. Speaking of mysteries, well, we're moving on to some robots. How is that a mystery? Well, it's a little <laughs> mysterious because of what's coming next in the uh, in the franchise of the Transformers. Oh, are we talking Transformers spinoff? Yes, the Transformers spinoff related to Bumblebee. Ooh. Which, I love Bumblebee. I find him to be one of my favorite. And hopefully he has a voice. Yeah, for once, hopefully. (laughs) Yeah, and an interesting uh, development has popped up where apparently with this upcoming Bumblebee spinoff film coming in, apparently um, Edge of Seventeen and Pitch Perfect 2 actress Haley Steinfeld is pursuing an interest in having a role in this film. Mhm. Quite the quite interesting in my opinion, which co- which coincides with mystery a little bit for me. Okay. Because what what's attracting her to this right now? What do you think? I feel like she's she's one of those girls who watched the Transformers uh animated series. Mhm. And kind of looked at that little girl that was always with Bumblebee. Oh. And was just like, you know what? That could be me. Like, we could make a movie. Everyone would like to see this because Transformers is blowing up right now. Hmm. Yeah. Um, that... And I, I mean, I could see, I could see her as, as some, someone who's playing alongside Bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's time for Shia LaBeouf to get away from Bumblebee mm-hmm. and for us to get away from like the, that, the whole like end of the world 
yeah. series, you know. Yeah, that like, pigsty of uh, Michael Bay films that we had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you think Michael Bay would would uh, direct this, or do you, is it going to be someone else? I think it's – yeah, it's supposed to be somebody else, actually. Um, who was it that was – Oh, Steven that? Spielberg's producing it. Oh, Michael yeah. Bay's producing it, too. Yeah, two producers. No, there's three producers. What? Lorenzo Di Bonaventura. Ah, uh, Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Oh, I could have sworn there was a director already uh, listed for this. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, that was – I'm not sure who is – who they're aiming for, the direct directorial. Uh-huh. But, yeah, that's – Again, still a mystery. That's hmm. still a mystery. But that will all be resolved once it hits theaters in on June 8th of 2018. Wow, next year already? Yeah. Very Literally a whole year and seven days. But moving forward. Year and a week. Let's talk some survival. <gasps> How we're going to survive this next few years without some good movies. Just kidding. We have good movies coming in. There's a lot of good movies yes. for the next three years. <laughs> but adding to that list of good movies, we have an Uncharted film. Yeah. What's so special about this Uncharted film, unlike the video games that it is following, uh huh. this is about young Nathan Drake. Yeah. And actually, the star or the, the Tom person Holland who was casted as it. Yeah, Tom Holland. Tom Holland as young Nathan Drake. Apparently had some insight into all this and practically proposed this idea in the first place. Yeah. Which is very interesting. Here's what he actually had to say about it. In short, it's an exciting one. Didn't know much about it. It's sort of just came. It was a conversation I had with so with Tom Rotham, Rothman sorry, of Sony about the potential of different movies that uh, Holland would be interested in working on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It was just something that popped up in the head, and he was like, okay, I can, I'll can, i do that. No problem. Yeah, he's looking forward to it. And plus, he also, <laughs> being a little fan buffy, uh, he talked about getting a, a Sully, Victor Sullivan, cast, cast call. Okay. And uh, originally, he was lo- eyeing Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal, sorry. I don't, it's kind of tricky saying his last name out there. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, he was eyeing him, but after visiting the Jurassic World set, he apparently set eyes on Chris Pratt. Okay, as Sully, Chris should play Nathan, but I think he would be a good Sully, and he loves working with Chris. Yep, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. And it makes sense because they probably met on the Infinity War set. So yeah. That adds up a little bit nicely since they've been friends for months, which Mm -hmm. coincides with the Infinity War filming. So how do you think that this origin story would play out then? It's going to be interesting, but it's... Have you you played any of the Uncharted games? I played all of them. All of them. I I haven't played a single single one, one, so I don't know anything about Nathan Drink or... It's kind of uh, interesting. Um, Uncharted. I'm guessing the way that they're going to do the whole young Nathan Drake stories is going to be after the um, the origin storyline from Uncharted 3. Okay. In which um, that's where um, Nate and uh, Victor Sullivan are um, first meeting each other for the first time. Right. And um, so it'll probably be adventures that are basically after that. And they'll probably start introducing the um, the treasures that they'll go after in the future, probably foreshadow pretty much all f- all four of them. Right, right. Yeah, so that should be interesting and again this I think this is going to turn into a like young Indiana Jones type of thing. You think? Yeah, because it's a new thing. It's something that has been done in a long while and the only good template that they really have for doing a young archaeological adventurer mm-hmm. is that. Is young Indy. Yeah. So it should be interesting, and plus, with apparently, supposedly, they're trying to make an R-rated, an R-rated Uncharted. Yeah, I mean, I could see that the games are M, right? Yeah, or are they PG or no. not? Uh, T T. That's what it, I T? think. They're T. You think they might be let's, T? Let's check this right now. I'll check yeah. it right now. Mm-hmm. How about that? Yeah, double check on that for me. Whereas, yeah, and plus, a lot of the young indie stuff. There's some pretty scandalous stuff in there. That's for sure. 
Mm-hmm. And that's for like back in the, gosh, like I want to say, eighties, when that was made, like the late eighties when that was made, maybe, maybe a little later than that. But there was some really um, scandalous stuff that was going on. Like and, what? Um, let's say um, fan dancers were involved. Fan dancers? Yeah, you know. No. Like um. Maybe not fan dancers, like Vegas showgirls type of dancers. Very leggy. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> so you mean like exotic dancers? Yes, exotic dancers. Thank you. I oh. was blanking on exotic for some weird reason. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ever heard of the Dance of the Seven Veils? <laughs> no. Yeah. That, stuff like that was featured in Young Indie. It's terrifying. <laughs> But yeah, that should be interesting for uh, R-rated uh, content if they it's, aim for that. I th- Uncharted is R RP. RP? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. What? RP. That's yeah. that's unofficial. RP stands for unofficial, man. It's RP. Hmm. That's RP. Odd. Oh well. I'm looking well, at whatever the, cover. the re- I'm looking at the cover right now. Okay. Whatever the rating is, it should be interesting what they aim for. Well, just to, to settle on that note, um, we're going to take a um, quick break. And before we come back... The, hold uh, on. Yeah. The, fir- the first Uncharted game was rated T. Okay. The third one was RP. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay, continue. Okay. So we'll be back after this two-minute break.
And we're back. Welcome back, everybody. What's up, guys? Woo! We're back from break. Yep. We're also live on Facebook right yep. now. So for those of you that are listening on either end, welcome back. And today we're and now we're going to talk about. Sorry, I'm a little more <laughs> flubby. We're going to talk about some crazy uh, movie trailers that just came out called Logan Lucky. Logan Lucky. From, uh, hang on here. Let me get my thoughts right. Here we go. From director of Ocean's Eleven, 12, and 13, plus Magic Mike, if I remember correctly. Magic Mike, only because Channing Tatum's there. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Soderbergh, I totally apologize if that's not the way how you pronounce that last name, <laughs> is making his... Soderbergh. Okay. <laughs> He's making his... Another um, film, which is supposedly a heist comedy. Heist and comedy. I'll say it again. Heist comedy. A heist comedy. So... Basically, like, um, uh, what was that movie with, like, Eddie Murphy? They went to do a bank heist. Oh. I think it was just called, like, The Heist. I think so, yeah. <laughs> or yeah. Tower Heist or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that it. what it's called, that's Tower Heist. Ben that's... Stiller, I think, was in that, Yeah, too. Ben Stiller, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much what this looks like, just yeah. on a different scale. Except with, um, sorry if I offend people from the South area, with British actors playing Hicks. British what act? is yeah. going on here? <laughs> well, I mean, they're in the deep yep. south. This is where all the NASCARs mm-hmm. going. This, yep. you know, everyone down in south they they uh they <laughs> liking their NASCAR down yep. there. Yeah, very crazy. <laughs> yeah, so this trailer was a little bit on the wacky side for me. What did you think of this trailer when you saw this, Cisco? Um, I mean, I was surprised to see Adam Driver in it. To be honest, because yeah. I can't see him other than Kylo Ren now, <laughs> and yeah. he has one arm. Hmm. He um. That's he has right. A stump. He doesn't have. He's, a... He has a stump of an arm, and he has a fake arm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, <Wow. laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I'd go see this if someone paid for me. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same here. Or I'd just watch it when it comes out on DVD because then I have I can just watch it from my yeah, phone. Yeah, this looks like a direct to red box type all of thing. Those, I would run for all those just torrents. Check. Mm. But and also Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Former James Bond. <laughs> Now playing a crazy uh, outlaw, yeah, crazy outlaw, prison breaker too, prison break. Yep, yeah. This movie is a little bit on the cuckoo side, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't, I don't get why it's called Logan Lucky though, because that's apparently, I think that's Shane Tatum's character's name, Logan Lucky. Yeah. Okay. Well, then that would make sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is a no. Real... His, his no. Logan is Adam Driver. Oh, okay. Jimmy is Channing Tatum. Gotcha. They're, br- they're brothers. There we go. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Any questions from Facebook Live, anybody? No. Ah, uh, but we have had. Let's see. We've had Robbie watching. Hey, Robbie. We've had Julie Sandine watching. Sandine. Uh, a coworker of mine, Jose Figueroa. He was watching. Howdy. Uh, Johnny was watching. Johnny Chavez. What's up, man? Hello, Johnny. A uh, good friend of mine, Bassam, he he was watching. Uh, Hunter Gooden, former uh, Grizzpod member, uh, along with me. Uh, Hunter Gooden was watching. And Jacob Sykes is just tuned in. Hey, welcome aboard. So, uh, yeah, we're looking good on Facebook. Yeah. And Logan Lucky, guys. Yeah, that's it should be interesting. This movie doesn't come out until August 18th, so if you're going to see it in the theater, let us know what you thought so, about it. Basically, tag us on Facebook or Twitter, whatever. Ba- basically, they're they're going to steal money from the vault of NASCAR, yeah, betting, mm-hmm. betting pools and whatnot mm-hmm. through an elaborate tunnel like tube system. Yeah, those wacky those tube vacuum systems. tubes. Yeah, yeah that those were so cool. When you those, see at Costco. Yeah, <laughs> those were so awesome back then. But they don't have them anymore, apparently. Hello, Ariana. What's up? Hello. <laughs> she just tuned in on Facebook. Howdy. Um. So what's next? Logan you Lucky. What's next? What's what next? are we going to talk about? Next up, a little bit easier. We have a preview for you guys. For those of you that have not seen Wonder Woman yet. Oh. That just came out. And a lot of people are giving it massive thumbs up. Really? Yep. Especially the women's side of things. Oh, they really wait, love it. Wait, 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 wait! Did you just say like a new trailer for Wonder Woman? Not a new trailer. the th- The movie is out. 
the movie what yeah it just came out it did yeah when did it come out what or it's almost out is it coming out what it should be out this month hold on oh no 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 it's july i think (laughs) hold on it is on on its way it's july 7th and the critic review embargo was just uh released so there's a lot of people talking about it Wait. It's a little bit. It's more on the upside of the good. No, huh? it's out. Oh, it is. What? Is that what? Yeah, June, June, oh, June second. It comes out June. Yeah, yeah, it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out today. It's coming. It came out yeah. today, technically tonight. Yep, tonight. It'll be out tonight. Go watch Wonder Woman, guys. Yep, it's really good. A lot of people have enjoyed it. Um, not too many negative uh, reviews yet, but that'll depend on the other side of the audience members. Right. Yeah, so catch it tomorrow or tonight if you have the time. And, again, tag us and let us know what you thought about it. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably go see it yeah. soon. I'll definitely see it myself just to get a 10-cent worth opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah so and it should be good. You know, just a thought. Yeah. We can do film reel Ooh. at home. Yes, we can. There is a way. Yes, we can. So... The question now is, will we or will we not? <laughs> we'll leave it up to you guys. Yep. We'll leave it up to you. Yep, we definitely should. But as Cisco was somewhat hinting at, mm? what Cisco was somewhat kind of hinting at, mm. is that all things must come to an end. Yeah. Here at I TOC, eventually. we had a real good run, had some good times. Miss you guys, Xander, Matt. Wish you were here. Shout out to Xander and Matt. Yep. Xander Blake, Matthew Wegg. We miss you guys. And we hope to see you guys soon. Otherwise, we're signing off. Maybe for, unfortunately, a possible last time. I've been your host, Chet Severn. Tuning out for the last time. Yep. This is, uh, or not, not for the maybe last not, time, guys. Maybe not. I, I, will, I will still be here. Um, I will find new people to do podcasting with if they're original people don't come back um or Mm -hmm. if we don't get this up and running pretty soon um but this has been rogue cisco other known also known as um chris lara Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's been good it's been good uh semester and a half yeah it's been a good uh, or not really semester and a half. no you've been uh, here the whole spring semester whole year yeah whole year all right yeah see you guys see ya It's been fun. Bye. Bye.